from Intersolar Summit in Turkey. And we are together with uh, Marcus, who is owner of uh, Intersolar. He's still so young, but apparently Intersolar has its 25th anniversary this year. Hello, Marcus, and congratulations. Hello, Thomas. Yeah, that's right. It's unbelievable. We are celebrating our uh, 25th uh, anniversary this year, and um, yeah, uh, it's um, unbelievable that uh, how uh, fast the time flew, and um, yeah, now we are here in Istanbul. When we made the decision to organize the summit series, it was our goal to help all the local um, uh, local uh, solar industries uh, to grow and uh, to support. Uh, the activities in, in different countries and uh, within the last two years we have been to so many uh, countries in, um, uh, in Mexico, in Chile, in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, in, in, in India and other regions and uh, uh, we are uh, the opinion of that we can help to connect um, the local people, investors with project developers that we can really help um, to bring um, best practices from other regions to emerging PV markets, and um, so this was also one of the reasons why we decided to come to Turkey. So 25 years, it seems quite a long time. Could you tell us a bit more about the history of Intersolar and uh, how did you arrive uh, to become the global event uh, and uh, networking um, company for the solar industry? The beginning, we didn't even think about uh, um, when we organized our first event that um, there is a the possibility that uh, we have that we will see such a uh, development. It was more or less after the um, uh, nuclear disaster in Chernobyl, uh, um, 1986, uh, when we um, decided to work on renewables and uh, to promote renewables and what the potential of renewables could be. But at that time, there was no market, almost no market for at, and no industry for solar. Um, but we organized our first event after several years, uh, which was uh, called Solar 91, which was a very local event, but quite successful. And uh, then afterwards, we did every two years, we, um, uh, there was a, 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 the next event uh, going on, and it, it developed from a conference um, to an exhibition. But it took uh, many years because, uh, as I said, there was almost no market. But um, we, from the beginning, we were more than just an exhibition organizer because we are we're really convinced of the development, uh, the potential of the renewables, and so our goal was from the beginning to help to increase the share of solar power in the overall energy supply. So uh, you focus on the solar power, of course, but now when we see especially changes in the European market, uh, we see that uh, solar cannot <coughs> grow without other associated technologies. So how do you uh, place, how do you change your strategy uh, with regards to this topic? I mean, what we have done um, um, after the first uh, 10 years of um, our events, um, what we have done in around about the year 2000 was to start a uh, strategy, uh, an international internationalization strategy. And um, so it was, um, obvious for us that uh, in the future the, the industry would, be, would become a global uh, industry. At that time, around about the year 2000, that was, um, uh, I would say, a little bit ahead of the market uh, because um, at that time the German market really took off and everybody was focused on the national market and uh, a lot of exhibitors or companies who exhibited at our event, they weren't really prepared um, to serve international markets. But from that time, we already organized special exhibitions about um, uh, world markets, and we, we um, um, started to build up uh, um, marketing activities in a lot of uh, countries. So it was from, from that time, it was our strategy to um, um, make our event in Munich, or at that time it was still in Freiburg, but in Germany, to uh, the most international event, and that's what, what we uh, still are. InterSolar Europe has um, visitors coming from 165 countries. Uh, so they are, they are coming out not because of the German market, they are becoming because um, at InterSolar Europe you can meet um, investors, project developers, um, the whole industry, uh, you can meet from all, everywhere around the world. So what will be the major features this year? So what we have seen uh, at, at InterSolar already um, two years back that uh, the energy storage component 
uh, is a very hot topic and a fast growing topic and you will see again this year uh, a 30 percent increase of uh, the um, energy storage uh, segment uh, in Munich and what we will introduce uh, this year is uh, also the so-called the smart uh, renewable energy uh, activities because what we have seen um, uh, in, in the last one or two years is that more and more companies uh, develop um, solutions, um, software solutions to um, manage the uh, production, uh, PV production, um, the storage uh, part and the demand side. And so to integrate all uh, these um, components, uh, uh, this is um, what we, what we um, uh, see under the uh, Smart Renewable Energy project we, we introduced this year. So we have a special forum on that. We have uh, conference sessions on, on that topic. And we have uh, a dedicated part of a hall um, where the uh, companies, the industry shows uh, those kind of, of products. Uh, and what is the strategy for the next years? So I think <coughs> that um, uh, the, um, the, 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 the that we'll see more and more uh, products and solutions um, for um, uh, this so-called uh, digital energy world, uh, the connected energy world. And uh, we'll we try as Intersolar to play a major role in this in this field because we, we have already with our Intersolar Fair we have um, um, the biggest one of the biggest events in, in when it comes to PV, PV production we have with our um, EES the Electrical Energy Storage um, exhibition which uh, we introduced in 2014 already the largest uh, energy storage event in, in, in Europe <coughs> uh, and now we combine the storage part, the production uh, and the, the um, solar production part with this, um, um, con with, with all the connectivity, the, the connected uh, mm -hmm. energy products and solutions, uh, this is the so-called smart renewable energy uh, solutions would be, which we introduced this year. And I think this will be uh, a big um, <coughs> strategic uh, project also for the future for, for all intersolar events um, to further develop um, the, um, our portfolio. I would like to ask you the last question about the 50th anniversary of InterSolar. So how the InterSolar exhibition fair will look in 25 years when solar and associated technologies will be almost 100% of energy in the world? I hope that uh, we'll see in, in 25 years uh, that uh, solar energy and other renewables will um, uh, deliver um, hopefully 100% of the energy, but I think there's still a lot uh, of work to do and um, I think that um, uh, InterSolar will still be around because um, uh, it's no better way to connect people than to uh, come together face to face to talk about uh, new solutions, new business models, um, yeah, um, to uh, also convince uh, investors to, to um, uh, spend their, their capital in, into uh, those projects. And um, I'm pretty optimistic that there is no better solution than renewables uh, for our energy supply and uh, I also am pretty convinced that we'll see 100%. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll see 100% um, if, we, if you look at the, the whole global market in, in 25 years, but um, I'm sure we'll be uh, a lot uh, further than we are today. Okay, and uh, we'll be following you and also the whole industry during the next 25 years. And uh, probably we will make some more interviews during these 25 years together. Thank you so much. Thank you.